Well, some experts tie the outbreak of the coronavirus to Chinese wet markets. That is where the SARS outbreak began 17 years ago. Dr. Chen Chong Si is an expert on wet markets and food safety and security in China. You're from the University of Waterloo. Thank you for joining us. First of all, let's talk about the wild animals that were at the wet markets, because that's where it's believed the virus started with wild animal consumption. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think existing studies find that it's connected to wild animal consumption, um, but it's not confirmed which kind of uh, wild animal it is. Okay, so what is the wet market and why are there wild animals at it? Wet markets are the major food source, especially for fresh produce and meat for Chinese urban residents. Um, they are densely distributed in Chinese cities. A large city typically has a few hundreds of wet markets. Um, they have many of these wet markets that they have live animals for sale. It's mainly chicken, actually mainly chicken or ducks. Um, but some of them have wild animals like this Wuhan market. Well, uh, I also want to clarify this Wuhan market is technically a wholesale market. Um, but wholesale markets are the source of food for wet markets, supermarkets and many restaurants as well. Yeah. Your book on uh, f food security that you and a few other professors have written reminds us that people go to these wet markets a few times a week. Like this is just part of Chinese culture is that food should be fresh. And if you have to kill it at home, that's just a good thing. Yeah, uh, the reason that people shop at wet markets is that uh, wet markets per are able to provide food at a lower price and also food there is fresher compared to those in supermarkets. Uh, the other reason, as I said, is because wet markets are very densely distributed, so the accessibility is really a key factor as well. For a lot of Chinese, for example, according to our survey in Nanjing, uh, ninety percent, more than ninety percent of households can access wet markets within walking distances. Uh, yeah, but it is an important part of food security yes. for many parts of the globe. But it's the wild animals that is the problem for if a virus is going to spread. Right. Will China ban the sale of wild animals at markets? Well, in two thousand three, after the SARS outbreak, the Chinese government has cracked down on the sale of wild animals already, um, but they also issued permits to some vendors to, uh, to allow them to sell a limited species of wild animals. And after this outbreak, uh, the Chinese government has banned all wild animal trades temporarily. They said after the epidemic is over, uh, but we don't know what will happen later and how long the ban will last. Okay, doctor, let's take this to my Canadian table. Are you adjusting the what, what you are eating? Should we be adjusting what we're eating in this virus watch down? I would say no, because this whole outbreak is related closely to wild animal consumption. Uh, and it's a specific kind of wild animals that's uh, got the virus transmitted, according to the scientists, from a particular kinds of bats in China. So I don't think Canadians should worry about their food safety here. Okay, not wildcat salmon, not my sushi table, nothing. We're all good. Not I, a, a, eggs, I'm, I'm hearing eat cooked eggs. I, I don't think that's a problem. That's, uh, as long as uh, the Canadian um, agencies, or the government is performing their role to ensure that all this food is, is passing the hygienic inspections. Yeah. Okay, food safety. Uh, Dr. Chen Cheng Si, thank you very much for setting us at ease. Thank you. Thank you. Hit subscribe and the notification bell to get our weekly episodes and web exclusives.